if you had a pail that could carry the same amount of material as a peanut shell, would you fill it with stones or gold coins? If an elephant came along and mistook your tiny bucket for the pod of his or her favorite snack, would you give up your treasure? When you go grocery shopping, do you weigh your produce before placing items into your cart or just pile up fruits and vegetables as if you were a zillionaire? Have you ever dreamed of working on a farm so you have a barn to milk cows and a coop to collect chicken eggs? Back in the 1970s, my friend and I attempted a sleepover in her backyard birdcage. We couldn't make it through the night because the temperature grew far colder than we expected, and as a result, we were ill-equipped. On sleep, I frequently dream of a friend of mine who passed away last November. The most memorable one of these impressions was the time I imagined I was attending a banquet honoring her husband. What made the experience unforgettable was the fact that the succession of images, thoughts, and emotions passing through my mind were so real that I believed she was still alive. There was actually a point towards the end of the dream that I said, Kay, you are alive. I knew you really didn't die. My voice was so loud that it woke me up. When an experience is both pleasant and painful, we often describe it as bittersweet. I compare the timeline of my life to the pre-marked surface of a board game. I am the game piece moving along with every spin of the dial. I see the beginning, but the conclusion is unclear. But as I move toward this fuzzy end, bittersweet experiences repeat on me like cucumbers.